This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Rick Mazer, the CEO of Forum Energy Metals from site via satellite link at the company's Nunavut Uranium project in the Thielon Basin in northwestern Canada. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Rick, live. How are you doing? Oh, excellent. Beautiful, uh, sunny day. Uh, you know, temperature's about a nice balmy 22, 23 degrees, light breeze. So the the bugs are not bad today. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. So what, what? why are you on site? What objectives do you want to achieve? And, and how long are you on site for? Well, myself, uh, we, we started drilling about a month ago. Uh, we're on our last hole. And uh, uh, we've this, we're on our fifth hole, which is our last hole. And uh, okay. I just wanted to, I'm spending the week up here just to uh, get caught up on uh, uh, the drill results from the first four holes and, um, um, yeah, just make plans for, for the future for this project. Okay. Well, considering that you're on site at the camp, can you describe or, or indeed show us the, the setup, the camp and what it's like, give us a sense of what it's like on the ground there? Uh, I will do that. So, uh, right behind me actually is, is the site of our future camp. Uh, for our 2024 drill program, um, and uh, there's nothing there right now. But uh, uh, if I can just turn this around here, uh, see that lake in the background there, mm -hmm. uh, and just in the foreground of that, there's there's a little. I mean, it's flat as a pancake here in the tundra. No trees. Yep. No trees. That's uh, that's Canada's Arctic. So just in the front of uh, that that lake uh, will be the site of our future camp. We'll have a, a twenty or thirty man camp uh, for um, a uh, a two drill program uh, in twenty twenty four. Just panning to the right here, uh, you see the those two bags, the white those white. Mm -hmm. That's our airstrip. So this is how uh, we'll uh, be supplied here. Um, it's very cool. Uh, um, the community of Baker Lake is about uh, 100 kilometers to the east. And uh, we get supplied out of that community uh, by uh, an, uh, an otter, a single otter aircraft on Tundra tires. Um, just. Uh, it's really cool to watch that uh, that aircraft uh, take off and land. It's a short takeoff and landing machine. It, it's quite powerful. Uh, so okay. That's how uh, we get supplied. We'll get supplied. So it actually lands on that uh, <laughs> that between those two white bags. That's the airstrip. And uh, at side of the airstrip, there's our helicopter. Uh, that's how we got here today. Um, as I mentioned, uh, we're staying in the in town for this program, uh, 2023 drill program. So it's about a 40 minute, uh, helicopter ride, uh, to, uh, uh the site here. Uh, so there's the chopper and the staging area for all the, the equipment and et cetera that we need. Okay. Uh, and so panning to our little, uh, um, our, our tiny little 23, 2023 camp. Um, so what we've built uh, here is uh, uh, that Quonset here, that blue, blue and white uh, uh, unit there. That's our uh, uh, safety shack. Uh, you know, if we have to overnight for some reason, uh, and there's a uh, first aid attendant there that's uh, on site uh, at all times. Uh, the middle tent there, that's our office tent. And uh, on the right here is, uh, is our core shack. And just to the right of the core shack, you can see the stack of, of drill core 
And there's the Johnny on the spot in the background. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> anyways. Uh, Excellent. That's very good to see that. I guess this, this, this area is completely inaccessible for most of the year, mostly covered in snow. You have a very short field season, don't you? Field season here is, uh, you know, pretty much from the middle of May to the middle of September. Uh, we can we can do about four four months uh, of work months. here. Okay. And it's uh, in the summertime. It's the Arctic, so it's the land of the midnight sun. Uh, it's it's pretty much sunny uh, okay. twenty four hours in, at uh, at the height of summer solstice. Uh, okay. So. And um, this this field season, then Rick, you mentioned that there's been four holes drilled, and one is is about to start, I think, and you're sort of here to catch up on that and to to supervise the the fifth one. Can you give a sense of what the the current field season's plans are? Really, what you'd want to come away with? Yeah, well, no, I'm not here to supervise anything. <laughs> That's Rebecca's <laughs> job. She's uh, and she's good at it. Um, yeah, what we wanted to. Uh, come away with on this drill program is, uh, uh, as you know, this project was formally uh, uh, drilled by Cameco, uh, and uh, they made two significant discoveries. So one of those discoveries is uh, named Tadagak, which is an Inuit uh, term for uh, a sandhill crane, actually. Um, so we, uh, Cameco made that discovery. Um, we, we have... Uh, as maybe some of your investors know or should know, we acquired these claims, uh, chemical, let them go, <coughs> in, you know, about uh, three, three or four years ago. So we staked the claims and, and, and acquired uh, uh, all the good work that Cameco did. It's, it's, it's ours now. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we're drilling in the Tadagak zone. Um, we put four holes into that. And we're currently on our fifth hole, which is on one of our uh, uh, blue sky targets. Uh, when Cameco did work here, they identified uh, over 20, 20 targets that could host uh, very large uranium deposits. So we're poking a hole into, into one of those. Uh, okay. That's where, we're at. that's where we are at right now. Okay. And how many people are on site, Rick? How many people make this all happen during the field season? Uh, yeah, well, um, we have a total of 12 people uh, it, that, that make this happen. A helicopter pilot, engineer, four drillers, a drill foreman uh, uh, on the uh, geological side. Um, we've got Rebecca Hunter, our uh, VPX, and she's been here for the month, and Martin Kula, our project geologist. Um, and we've got, uh, we have the uh, uh, first aid attendant paramedic here on site, uh, always. Okay. And then uh, our core, we have a core technician uh, who we'll, we'll introduce you to here shortly. Um, He's a local from Baker Lake, and uh, uh, and then we have a, a wildlife monitor that uh, uh, that uh, is a local from Baker Lake as well that is on <coughs> on site at the drill. So I'll okay. we'll just go into the. So this is uh, Victor Noah. Say hi, Victor. Hi. <laughs> uh, Hello, Victor. Nice to meet you. So we, we're in the core shed now, effectively, or the core tent. Yes, yes. This is uh, uh, the, the core shack here. Um, okay. Uh, and Victor is our core technician. When, when uh, the core comes in, he, he gets it all laid out so uh, the geologists can see uh, exactly what's, uh, what's going on. You can see the core on the okay. table here. Um, and is the core looking good, Rick? Is it, are you getting good quality core? Yeah, yeah, we've, uh, we, yeah, we're getting good recoveries. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, Can we see any, or is it is it is it sensitive information? Um, well, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we can't really start talking about results at this at sure. this stage until we, uh, we get the assays. But, but uh, yeah, Noah's done a great job for us here. Um, uh, 
we have to you know we have to measure measure the uh, length in the holes, make sure the the drillers put the right uh, right tags on the on the holes, et cetera, et cetera, and he gets it prepared mm -hmm. for the geologists okay. to uh, do an evaluation. Um, Perfect. Good. So why don't we? Uh, yeah, this core just came in today. Uh, in this hole, we're getting about fifty meters per shift. Okay. So this all has to be logged and uh, and marked, doesn't it, by Victor there? So that's a full time job almost. Oh, it's full time. Yeah, I mean yeah. the drill, the drill. Uh, it, it keeps us busy. I mean, uh, uh, the core is coming in uh, at a fast pace, and uh, sure. you have to be on it as soon as it comes in. Don't want to get. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to get behind. No. So here's uh, uh once we get into the mineralized sections uh, on from our drilling, uh, we bring it into uh, this core shack here. Um, as Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hi, Mark. And Martin Kula, our project geologist. Martin, nice to meet you. Good to see you both. Good to see you both on site. It's the first time uh, Rebecca seeing you on site. You look very happy. <laughs> yes. I guess you're in your element. Yeah, exactly. I'm with the rock. <laughs> well, yeah, with the rock, indeed, with the rock. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, for sure. Well, first of all, how are the exploration plan? How are they working in practice? Your plans? Have you have you encountered any challenges with the with the drilling? Um, I mean, mostly it's been pretty good. So, I mean, we're it's just it's the first season, so we've got a new drill company, and and we're getting used to the rock again. Um, especially at Tadagac, the drilling conditions have a lot of clay and. A lot of broken core, so it can be slower, but but nothing that can't be overcome. Okay, good. And, and can you perhaps describe some of the work that's going on, and uh, and also what you'd like to come away with? What's the objective at the end of this field season, from your point of view? The main uh, things we wanted to do this season was to get out here and get into Tadagac again. Um, so we've accomplished that. So we drilled four holes into Tadagac, and so one of which into Tadagac, Maine. So to kind of look at that, that main uh, mineralized zone and really figure out the structural control so we can chase it up way better going forward. And then we did a couple infill holes, kind of infill and expansion holes into Tadagac West. And so, so we achieved exactly what we wanted to do this year for that. Okay. Okay. And this will help you when you get back to the, the desktop, will it? What sort of work will you be doing to better understand the geology? So we'll be modeling it, um, and then we'll also have some additional grades. So we should be able to, you know, increase and expand the Tadagac West zone because the drilling was so sparse um, back when Cameco did it. So we've kind of broadened that again. Okay. And just finally, I don't know if you can say anything, but do you get any sense of early signs or promising looking signs, or do we just have to simply wait and see? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we hit some really good mineralization this uh, at Tadagac West. So, I mean, we've um, it's very promising. We'll put it that way. Um, really good radioactivity to expand upon. So. Great. Well, as I say, it's very good to see you on, on site. We said we would like to do this. I'm very impressed with the internet connection, thanks to Elon Musk and Starlink. And thank you very much, Rebecca, for giving us a few comments there. Rick, do you have any final thoughts? Thank you so much for, uh, for doing this. Uh, nothing uh, for me. Um, yeah, Rebecca's uh, done a great job. Martin's done a great job for us. And... Uh, um, you know, uh, well, let's let them get back to work because, uh, you know, the drill core is coming in fast and furious and uh, they've got a lot of work to do. As you can see, they're uh, got two, uh, well, six boxes on the table here uh, in the mineralized section that we have to uh, log and split and uh, get ready for assay. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca, Martin and Rick. Thank you all very much for your time today from Forum Energy Metals on site at the Nunavut Uranium Project. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Well, that was Rick Mazer, the CEO and the rest of the Forum Energy Metals team on site at their Nunavut Uranium Project. And Forum expect to have the assay results from this year's field season out in the market late September and into early October. 
If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.